Welcome to short tutorial with Eva Riazati. This is the part one of our video creation for video for children in our channel, uh, learning channel for kids. In this video, I will show you how we created a base for the video in Doodly software. We use Doodly software for almost all our videos for children in children in learning channel for kids. It's a very affordable software. I will put a link in the description below. Please check it out if you like it. If you are here to my channel, please consider subscribing. So now we can start with the video creation. Let's get to it. Let's open Doodly, create new video, whiteboard, and let's put a title, which will be a video about phonics. And we can specify it and right super safari because it's going to be about animals so we are inside a new creation for the video but I would like to start with logo that every slide has so I go to old video and I just uh, right click on the logo and press copy and go back to new video and go to the new slide and actually have to go on the work desk on the top and right click and press paste and new logo will be there and then <clears throat> I open new slide and each slide will have a logo so I will just paste a logo to each slide I'm expecting for this video to have 9 to 12 slides, so I'm just going to open all those slides and prepare logo for each slide. So now we can go back to second slide and start creating our video. The first slide will be introduction to our channel, so I'm starting with the second one. I'm going to find a frame because idea for this video is to spell different animals and I want to use video about those animals and I'm going to put them in the frame. So. I found a frame. I'm going to open grid, which gives me idea where I want to put the frame. And I'm going to use a line below where I'm going to put the name of the of the animal. So grid is going to help me to make this line straight and I'm going to make it a little bit longer because some words will be longer than others. So this will be like a template for each um, for each slide and also I need to adjust timing so for each slide I will put line in the frame for zero duration because we do not want the frame or the line to be drawn each time. So now when I have this template done I'm thinking I can just copy and duplicate actually the slide and will work with it. So I did not have to prepare all those slides ahead of time, but I'm just learning as I'm creating it. So I will duplicate it again a few times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. 
and maybe one more nine so those slides that I created before I am not going to use them so I can just delete them now this is the first video that I'm creating this way so I'm learning as I'm creating it so let's delete all of those empty ones and now we can start creating each slide so I usually use Patrick Hen regular font which is um, I think nice for children and I am just going to start creating slides this one will be for dog and children will have to um, fill up first missing letter which will be D in this case and in the frame we are going to put a video of a dog so they can see it's a dog and then they have to fill out the missing letter as you see I have moved I moved the line so again I have to delete slides that I created before because I want that line to be exactly at the same position as it was in the previous um, slide so I'm going to delete them and now I'm going to duplicate this slide a few times so the line and the frame are exactly at the same position as it was in the previous slide. So the second slide will be about the fly. third one it will be cat so you can see that I'm using exactly the same the same position of the letters I'm just changing it to the different animal that they that they will be practicing then we have frog we need a few more slides so I'm just duplicating them Then we have bear, and next we have two more slides. Next one is fox, and the last one will be beaver. So let's just oh, we have a duck, and the last one will be beaver. I prepare all the slides let me just check how the timing looks and you can see that the frame and the line has a zero duration which means we won't see any hand drawing frame or the line it will automatically appear but I want I want this letter to be drawn by hand so kids they have a time to have a look and think about it and I want this letter in this case D to have some delay and the delay will be let's say five seconds so they have five seconds time to think about the letter missing letter and let, let's have a look how it looks so first we have 
letters and then after five seconds letter D is written so it's a good start but I don't like few feature about this um, slide so first of all I don't like the hand that is used for this uh, for this video so let's change it to cartoon hands since this video is for children so let's use um, cartoon hands that we can choose one we like so I choose th um, the one with the blue shirt so let's let's preview it again and have a look if you like the hand this time and you can see also that I changed the timing for letters. The letters ONG, which is for dog, it's already going to appear with the slide. It's not going to be written, it's already going to be on the slide. Then we give children five seconds to have a look at the, at the, at the video and then they, they have time to think about it and write letter D. Let's put a different color for the letter D because this is where we want them to focus attention to. So I decided to, to use red color. Very important is that the slide, they don't go fast from one to another, but the children have time or viewer has have time to process what is on the slide. So it's important to give a few seconds at the end of each slide. The second slide we have fly, so again let's give an extra time at the end of the slide, four seconds. We can start with four seconds and see if it's too fast or too slow. So at this time I'm just adjusting every slide and giving it four seconds at the end. This is going to be fly, and we can change letter F to be of to be red as well. Let's adjust the uh, size of the letter and place it nicely next to the L. We again want to have some delay. Five. I put f six seconds this time. And we're going to repeat this process with each slide. We're going to bring the letter, make it red, and give it a delay of five or six seconds. This is bad. I thought it's cat, it's bad. Okay, another slide we have deer, so let's put letter D, make it red, give it some delay, adjust the size and place it nicely on the line. Timing, working with timing is very important because I learn if I rush through the video, even slides are made nicely and I put a lot of effort in it. But if there's no time for viewers or especially children, our videos are mostly for children, then it has this rush effect and it does not give them enough time to to process what is in the video so i i would say rather give it a little bit more time than than less time okay 
Okay, so we have delay of six seconds. We have to make sure that line and the other letters have duration of zero because we do not want them to be drawn. Just We want them just to appear at the beginning of the slide. This process is a little bit lengthy to take a time. You have to play with it. But as you create more and more videos, it becomes easier and you will learn from your mistakes and you might you like you can see how when I'm creating this video that I'm changing and learning with the process of creating it and I will know next time better that I have to create first the template and then duplicate it but that's the way of learning so Two more slides and we are done with this part of the video. We want to add the letter. This one will be duck, so we, we put letter D. So this part of the video is created in with Doodly software, which I really like. It's easy to learn, and it will be a frame, base frame for the video. I'm going to export this video and bring it to iMovie where I will finish this um, this video by editing it and adding video pieces for about the animals. So let's give it extra time, give it four seconds and done. This part of the video is done.